Thanks for joining me today. We're going to continue painting in this book that I have different drawings in. And today we're going to work on a zebra. go in and paint in a little bit of white and it's okay if it blends a little bit and we get some little grays that kind of happen because some of the paint might still be wet but because we are painting on paper the acrylic will probably dry a whole lot faster okay so let's get started Okay, something interesting is um, happening here. Originally, I had drawn this in this little book that I have in um, a gel pen. And if you notice, you can kind of see the blue poking through. I kind of like it. So we're gonna just keep moving forward and we're gonna see where we end up. Um, while painting with um, these acrylics on watercolor paper, there sometimes is a little bit more of a drag with the paint, just kind of a fun, loose way to paint and that's what this uh, zebra is all about today so i'm going to go in now and just kind of clean up some areas and you can follow along as i go and you see right here i have a little accident where i've touched the wet paint and touched my paper but i'm not going to worry about that right now we're just going to move forward Now I'm going to play with some grays. I'm going to go in there and put in a few little shadowed areas and a few little gray tones and just kind of play with it a little bit. If I can hold down my paper.
best of intentions, sometimes you still get a bobo <laughs> or an oops on your drawing. So let's see how we're gonna remedy that. We're gonna, again, this is just loose, accidents happen. Okay, so let's move this into time lapse. I think I'm just gonna turn in, uh, turn it into a bunch of flowers right here, a little bouquet, and we'll just kinda see where we end up. Okay, so I'm going to show you this up a little bit closer. As you can see, there's some uh, a little bit of texture in there, and each layer got a little bit lighter. And I'll show you the palette, so you can see how I developed it. Can you see how it went down and got lighter and lighter as I went? Okay, so let's get started on our next flower. And we're going to repeat the same process from dark to light. tell you painting over this little fold in the paper does create a little bit of a challenge but we're up for it today.
So here's our finished piece. I think it came out pretty good. So even if you have little accidents that happen along the way, doesn't mean the piece is ruined. Just find another way to incorporate it. Sometimes you come out with something completely different. Like I hadn't planned on painting these flowers and yet here they are. <laughs> even though um, I had a pin drawing underneath, a gel pin, some of it's coming through. You can see a little bit of the blue. I'm happy with it. All right, until next time. Bye. Well, I thought I was finished and I sat my brush down right there. You see that? Now I have to fix it. Let's make a little bumblebee. today I think. All right y'all have a good day. Keep painting. Keep being creative and have fun with it. Mm -hmm.